Hi guys, I decided to create a video to show how I get this red. So if you want to know how I get this color, just keep on looking. First of all, I'm not a colorist, I am not a hairdresser, I am nothing professional. It's just me doing the things that I like. So first of all, my natural hair color is uh, brown. I will put some pictures so you can see. the things that I did that I think that I didn't so you can learn from my mistakes when I decided to get my bright red head I had uh, roots from a natural color so what I did is I used the 10% developer and only on my roots and the rest of my hair I used the 30 volume and what I did is after I washed out and I put my red uh, here it was darker than the rest of it so I left it like that for like a month maybe and then it wasn't like that big difference anyway <laughs> um so I left it like that and then um, the next time I bleached my hair to, for, to do again my roots I put all everything 30% uh, volume so the bleaches that I used are by Blonder is this one here mixed with this one I will link uh, every kind of name or everything you need to know in the bar section below so you can don't forget to look at that because I always put information and stuff like that that you might need. But to be honest, it was my first time bleaching my whole head, so um, I got my mom to help me because I didn't want to do it alone. Um, I did this and I left it for uh, 23 minutes exactly. It's basically that kind of blonde that you need to get to this kind of red. If you want even more red, uh, then go ahead with a 40 uh, developer and you will, get, you will get even more bright red hair. To be honest, this bleach is actually very, very good. It didn't damage my hair at all. It's super smooth and everything. So um, I wasn't expecting this from a bleach. The hair dye that I use is called Elumen by Goldwell. It's this one here. Um, I'm, I love this product. It's amazing. It leaves your hair shiny and everything. So wow, I love this. <laughs> Basically, this product is high performance hair color oxygen free. So, in this, you don't have any kind of peroxide, you don't have ammonia, you don't have anything chemical that damages your hair. It actually is very, very gentle. The only thing that I don't really like about this product it stains a lot, and you don't know how bad I mean by a lot. It's like my whole washroom is like freaking red, my walls are red, and everything's red. And also dyes your scalp for the first uh, couple of days until you washed it and also you the whole rest of your body <laughs> when you're like washing it in your shower and um, that will be the only thing that I don't really like about the product because it's really really hard to remove after that it stays in your hair forever if you're tired to dye your red hair every single two weeks or every single month or everything like just get this and your problems are solved. These kinds of dyes also uh, work better in virgin hair. Virgin hair is everything that's never been uh, dyed before. So it's like completely your hair natural. works magic on virgin hair. So if you have that and you want to go red, just by all means do it. You're going to love it. Of course, if you have brown hair and you put this directly on your roots, it's gonna be more like a wine kind of uh, red. It's not gonna be like this. For this kind of colors, you have to bleach it. There's no, oh, there's no other way. The other products you see that is uh, get this kind of red uh, without uh, bleaching. The bleach is already incorporated in the product usually, I believe, because you can't get this kind of red without bleaching it. The problem with Elumen is, for example, if you wanna go do it in a in a salon. They're gonna charge you like 200 or 250 dollars. The first time I went to to do it because I wanted to to see how they make it in salons and everything, the lady told me that she's gonna charge me 250 dollars, which I find is ridiculous for a price. Um, usually, anime is a um, dye that not everybody can buy, it's only for hairdressers and everything. But I found places that you don't need to be a hairdresser to buy it, so. Since then, I've been getting it from that store, or you all, you also you can buy it online, which is better. But there's the shipping cost, of course. I would rather do it uh, myself alone at home, besides wasting 250 dollars on hair. So now I'm gonna give you the steps on how 
to dye your hair like this. So after you already bleached your hair, you have to um, wash it with the their shampoo. This is very important. This is a special shampoo and it's gonna help to keep the color of element in your hair. Don't use any other kind of shampoo, even if it says uh, red protector or whatever. This is the deal in, with the dye. I mean, these two together are inseparable. You need to get these two. So after you wash your hair with um, the, the shampoo, even if you never had like element dye before, you have to wash it the first time with the shampoo. And then afterwards, you're gonna do it, you're gonna apply the prepare this one here and you can apply it um, if you're doing your hair head you're gonna have apply it like all over your head more even more here because this is the, the part that I usually face the most quickly and also because well my virgin hair is like started like here you know so this is gonna fade more quickly so you have to put more of this like in the ends of your hair so you're gonna put the dye all over your head doesn't matter I mean I'm gonna show you also the um, how to do it by by them. There's a book or how they show you how to do it. And um, I what I do is I after my bleach I put this and I leave it on for like a, more than I should. Um, the first time I did it like they told me, um, I found it was way too much red. It was like crazy. Um, I looked like a wig or something like that and I didn't like it but then when I washed it uh, more times it, uh, it, it it came more red of course but uh, it wasn't uh, as wig as it looked and um, the second time I did it I left it uh, for two hours like another youtuber did and um, it was amazing, it was even the color I wanted, it was even a, a, just a tiny more darker than I wanted, which is, was perfect, that's the color I wanted, and um, I loved it, and since then I'm just doing like she she says she do it, I'm just gonna leave her her channel so you can see, she inspired me to get Illumin, <laughs> so I leave it on for like two hours, and I know it seems a lot, but um, it doesn't matter as long as it leaves your hair properly. So after that, what you need is always don't forget to put Vaseline and everything because it is gonna stay in your whole universe, if you can say. <laughs> so, and the next step is uh, lock. Is this one here? Is how to lock. It's gonna it's just to lock the the color on your hair. Basically, um, it stings a lot. This one I, th I find is very, very strong, but uh, it does make good results. So, um, you put this for 5 minutes. But some other people use it for like 10 minutes, uh, 15 minutes. This is very, very important. Element does sell a product that is called Clean, to clean all the stains. But uh, I've seen a lot of reviews and people say that it doesn't really work. So I just decided not to buy it. Same thing for the treat and the care. There's things to put to, to, to take care of your hair and everything, but uh, people say that they, did, they didn't find a difference or they didn't like all the products that uh, I mentioned on the, down below. Don't forget to look that. So, I really hope you like my how-to red hair tutorial. And I uh, see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So if you have more questions or everything you want to know, please uh, comment in the section below and I'll answer you as soon as I can. Thank you.